Hello friends! It is time to update and supplement some of my tutorials related to importing DAS 3D characters into Unreal Engine. In today's lesson we are going to import a DAS 3D Genesis 9 character. In my case I have chosen Victoria 9 into a third person game. And in the second part of the tutorial, the very next video, we will also apply a metahuman hair to the character. Next time, I believe we will cover importing a Dust 3D character altogether with its native Dust 3D poses and animations into a cinematic UE5 project. By the way, going a little bit off topic, this video is going to be a kind of a prerequisite for my future tutorial series, which will be focused on making money for game and asset developers. It will focus on both development and marketing. I am going to disclose a money niche I have found with relatively low competition and very, very high demand. And I am going to disclose some little know-hows I have after 10 years in digital marketing and 3 years in Unreal Engine development. Everyone who wants will be able to come this way with me step by step. And don't be afraid of the competition. <laughs> the practice says there are not so many people who follow any other tutorial series till the end. And now let's start with the today's tutorial. So first we need to download the DAS to Unreal Bridge. To so open up the link I place in the description below this video and we download the latest version for the Unreal Engine 5.4. Just download this DAS to Unreal Zip. I already have it. And let's open up the folder and let's extract the archive and open up the folder. And as we are going to import our DAS character to the Unreal Engine 5.4, let's open up the UE 5.4 folder. And let's first install the DAS part of the bridge. To do so, we open up the DAS to Unreal folder, go to Resources. Well, we actually can run the setup. But let's do this manually. We select the DAS Unreal Bridge DLL. We copy it. And now let's navigate to our DAS 3D folder. So, in my case, it is the C drive, Profiles, DAS 3D, DAS Studio 4, Plugins folder. I already have this file, but I just paste it. I replace it, but you can just copy it to this folder. All right. Now let's go back to our downloads folder. Open up the last two Unreal again. Navigate to UE 5.4 and copy the entire dust to Unreal folder. We copy it. And now we go to the Unreal folder, so I navigate to Drive C, Program Files, Epic Games, UE 5.4, Engine, Plugins, and I right click and paste the entire folder here. Great. Now Let's quickly create Unreal 5.4 project. I open up my Epic Games Launcher. I launch Unreal Engine 5.4.4. I navigate to Games and I create a third person game. We can enable ray tracing or we can work without it. Let's name the project Does. 3D third third and we hit create button. All right, so our project has been created. Now let's go to edit plugins 
in the source string let's type does and enable the does to unreal and the editor prompts us to restart and we do so right so the project has been restarted let's now navigate to edit project settings and at the left column let's scroll all the way down until we see the plugins section and we select the does to unreal settings and we should make sure that these two options fixed bone rotations and zero root rotation they should be checked if you want to use the unreal the retargeted unreal animations now i open my does 3d studio and i have already created a genesis 9 figure here i have applied the victoria 9 and set up some clothing and i have applied this beautiful skin texture so at the right in the scene tab i select the genesis 9 node and i then go to file send to that to unreal and here we can select the name i will just leave it as victoria 9 it is going to be exported as skeletal mesh that's okay and we leave all other settings by default and we hit accept and if we see the fbx export options dialog we just click accept let's wait until it is being exported all right so it has been exported and now we go to unreal and you see it's been imported to our unreal project right we just ignore these warnings let's save all let's take a look on this all right now let's set this does a figure victoria 9 as our third person character do so in let's open our content drawer navigate to the content third person blueprints and open up our bp third person character blueprint let's set, open up the viewport and in the left left phone in the components tab let's select the mesh and click the add button and let's type skeletal and we add one skeletal mesh let's name it does character and having it this new component selected let's go to the details tab and as the skeletal mesh asset we are going to select our victoria 9 skeletal mesh right we compile now we would like to retarget the animations from our queen mesh uh, to our dust character at runtime to do so let's really quickly create an animation blueprint let's open up the content drawer save all and under our, our blueprints folder let's right click and select animation animation blueprint and as the skeleton we select nothing and let's name the this new animation blueprint genesis 9 underscore anim bp and we open it up and if you don't see what i see on my screen just double click the anim graph at the left and you will see this as well and right near the output pose let's right click and type retarget pose from mesh 
and we connect the output pin with the result of the output pulse. We compile and we see an error. And this is because we have not set the IK retargeter asset. So we select this retarget pulse from mesh node and at the right in the details tab, we select the G9 retargeter. And we compile. Right, we compile and we save and we ignore the warnings. By the way, let's click this little icon near the under the selected retargeter and open up the retargeter asset. You see we cannot see here our target preview mesh. So at the right in the details tab as the target preview mesh, let's select our Torian line skeletal mesh. It's just for our future needs. And we can actually preview how does it work. And you see in the asset browser we can select the UE5 mannequin animations. And we see that they are being retargeted with no problem. Let's now open our content drawer and navigate back to the content third person blueprints and open up our BP third person viewport. And let's select the DAS character skeletal mesh. And here in the at the right in the details tab. Near the animation mode, we have the anim class. Animation mode should be the use animation blueprint. And in the animation mode, we leave the use animation blueprint option. And as the anim class, we search for our Genesis 9 anim BP. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see it is being retargeted. Right. Now let's select our parent mesh. And at the right in the details, start typing VZ, VZ. And first we uncheck the visible option. And the second what we want to do. Uh, do you see this visibility based anim tick option? We click and we select this option always tick pause and the refresh pause and we compile and we save so we may now close this window and let's run our game yeah and it is working fine so that's it for today in the next video we will add a metahuman hair to this does 3d figure and in the third video of this series, I think we will export the Dust 3D figure into a cinematic project in Unreal Engine 5. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.